first question how the heat transfer process is taking place in infinite slab with unidirectional and steady state conduction process second question solve one problem for the heat transfer by unidirectional and steady state conduction process in infinite slab let us understand how to calculate the rate of heat flow through infinite slab now here we will consider some conditions so what is the first condition so first condition is rate of heat flow is unidirectional that means heat is flowing only along one direction second condition is that there is steady state conduction process now this slab is of solid material so heat transfer is by conduction only now here this is the infinite slab so we will consider its a dimension we will consider one slab which is having length and width infinite with thickness with capital b so if we observe this diagram this is two dimensional diagram and here the thickness capital b is shown this is the initial phase which is having temperature t1 and this is the other phase that is having temperature t2 with condition that t1 is greater than t2 now we know that heat transfer always takes place from lower temperature to the higher temperature that means heat transfer will takes place from this temperature t2 towards the temperature t1 now the length and width is infinite that means heat transfer is taking place along this thickness and we will consider here one particular direction that is direction x so we will show here the direction of heat transfer is along the x direction so we can say that this temperature is the function of x direction only now how to calculate the rate of heat flow so we will say that rate of heat flow that is nothing but q so formula is for the rate of heat flow q is equal to ka by b t1 minus t2 now what is this k that is the thermal conductivity of the material a area normal to the heat transfer then b that is the thickness of this that is the length of thickness of this slab and t1 minus t2 that is the temperature difference let us understand the temperature variation within slab for that we will consider two points from this initial phase we will consider one point that is the point x at a distance capital x from the initial phase so here is the point x and from initial phase here is the distance capital x now if we observe this diagram temperature at this initial phase is temperature t1 and what is the temperature at this point x we will consider here as a tx now we will consider another point that is the point b which is at a distance capital b from the initial phase so we will show here the another point that is b and here is the distance capital b so what is the temperature at this point b so temperature at this point b we will consider temperature t2 now if we observe here the diagram then we can say that the t1 is greater than tx is greater than t2 now we have to find out the rate of heat flow from this temperature tx towards temperature t1 because uh, heat always getting transferred from the lower temperature to the higher temperature so how to find out the rate of heat flow so for that we have formula so q is equal to ka divided by this distance x multiplied by the temperature difference that is t1 minus tx now in the same way for the another point we will find out what is the rate of heat flow so we will find out the rate of heat flow from this temperature t2 towards the temperature t1 because t2 is less than t1 so q is equal to again ka divided by b multiplied by t1 minus t2 
Now if we observe this left hand side then here is the rate of heat flow and here is also rate of heat flow from the same slab. So left hand side is equal. So we can also equate the right hand side. So if we equate this Ka by x T1 minus Tx is equal to Ka by B T1 minus T2. Then this Ka Ka will be getting cancelled. So if we simplify this then we will get T1 minus Tx divided by T1 minus T2 which is equal to x by B. So how we can say that this temperature variation within the points that is within this initial phase to this middle point and then this point x to the point B is proportional to the distance in between them. That is the distance in between those points. So this temperature variation will be in linear manner. So if we join these points that is T1, T2, X, then there is the linear relation. So if we join this temperature T1, T2 and Tx, then this temperature will vary linearly. We will solve one problem. A homogeneous wall of area A and thickness L has left hand surface temperature 0 degree Celsius and right hand surface temperature 40 degree Celsius. Determine the temperature at the center of wall. How much material must be added and to which side of wall if the temperature at the center is to be raised by 5 degree Celsius? How much material must be removed and from which side of wall if the temperature at the center is to be lowered by 5 degree Celsius. We will draw one diagram as per given data. For that we have to plot some temperatures. So here these temperatures are plotted that is 0 degree, 5 degree, 10 degree and so on. So these temperatures are plotted by taking particular scale. Now left hand side of surface temperature is given 0 degree Celsius. So here is 0 degree Celsius temperature point is taken. Now the thickness L is given. So we will consider here one particular thickness L. And after this thickness L on the right hand side surface temperature is given 40 degree Celsius. So here is 40 degree Celsius. So we will refer this point and we will take here the point that is at 40 degree Celsius. Now we will first calculate the temperature at the center of wall. So here is the thickness L and what is the temperature at the center of wall. So for that I will draw here one line in the form of dash at the center. So this is the center point and at this point what is this distance from the initial phase that is L by 2. So we will write here as a L by 2 and what is the remaining distance that is also L by 2. Now we will consider any particular point that is the point X on this center line. Now how to calculate the temperature at the center of wall. So we know that the formula for the temperature variation within slab. So we will take the difference that is the temperature at the initial phase that is T1 minus temperature at the point at the center face that is Tx divided by temperature at the left hand side surface T1 minus temperature at the right hand side surface T2. So T1 minus Tx divided by T1 minus T2 and which is proportional to distance. So this distance from initial phase to point X we will refer here capital X and this distance from this initial phase to this point on the right hand side face we will consider it is given capital L. So we will consider here this distance T1 minus Tx divided by T1 minus T2 which is equal to capital X by L. But what is the distance of this capital X that is nothing but L by 2. So we will plot here instead of X L by 2. Now we will put the value. So T1 and T2 values are known that is 0 and 40. So 0 minus Tx divided by 0 minus 40 which is equal to L by 2 by L. So if we observe this L by 2 by L that is that will be getting cancelled and what is the value of Tx that is Tx is equal to 20 degree Celsius. 
So we will plot here this point at a 20 degree Celsius. So here is the 20 degree Celsius. So I will take here the temperature that is 20 degree Celsius. Now we know that this temperature will vary linearly. So we can join this points that is 40 degree Celsius, 20 degree Celsius and 0 degree Celsius. Now we will move for the next question. So here the condition is given that temperature at the center should be raised by 5 degree Celsius. So temperature at the center is 20 degree Celsius and we have to raise this temperature 20 plus 5 that is 25 degree Celsius. So in the range of this 25 degree Celsius we will select here one point and that point will be our new point that is point X. Now, now what is the question? So when the temperature at the center is 25 degrees Celsius, then how much material should be added and to which side? So we have to increase this temperature from 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. So we have to add the material, but at which side we have to add material? Now we know that the temperature at the center is 25 degrees Celsius. Temperature at the right hand face is 40 degrees Celsius. And what is the rule? That is the temperature variation within slab is linear. So if I join this 40 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius, then here is one line. Now along this line only we have to maintain the temperature at the left hand side surface that is 0 degree Celsius. So I will continue this line. So if I continue to draw this line that is the slope is same. Then here is the point of intersection for this 0 degree Celsius. So here is the scale for 0. So this will be our new point. Then the material should be added to the left hand side only. So we can select here this point. Now it's a particular dimension is not known. So we will consider this new point will be at a distance of A from this initial phase. That is this previous initial phase is here. But our new initial phase that we have to add here. So I will add this phase. Or, uh, I will add this material in this way. I will show this new line with this dotted line. So this much material that we have to add. So here we will, we will show this material that is the solid material is there. Now this length that is this length A. Now we will again apply the same formula. So what is the formula? That is the temperature at this initial phase we will consider here as a T1 that is 0 degree Celsius. This new temperature is T2. So T1 minus Tx. So temperature at this point X that is Tx. So T1 minus Tx divided by T1 minus T2 is equal to X by B. Now what is this T1? So this T1 is 0 minus Tx that is this temperature is 25 degree Celsius. So this is also known given in the question divided by T1 minus T2 that is 0 minus 40 is equal to. Now what is this X? So X is the distance from this initial phase to this point X. So what is this distance? So this L by 2 plus A. A plus L by 2. And what is this B? That is the distance in between this left hand side surface to the right hand side surface. So this total distance is L, L plus A. So we have to write A plus A. Now we can simplify this. We will cross multiply. Then 25A plus 25L is equal to 40A plus 20L. So A is equal to L by 3. So we have to add the material. What is the thickness of this material? A is equal to this L by 3. Now we will move for the third question. Given condition is that temperature at the center should be lowered by 5 degree Celsius. So initial temperature at the center is 20 degree Celsius and we have to maintain here the temperature 20 minus 5 that is 15 degree Celsius. Then how much material should be removed? So first we will select here one point that is with scale of this 15 degree Celsius. So here will be our new point that is point X. Now we know that temperature variation within slab is in linear manner. So from this point X to the right hand side surface, 
how this temperature variation is taking place we will show here with the help of the joining the line with this 40 degree celsius and this point x now in the same way we have to maintain the temperature in 0 degree celsius so we will continue this line with the same slope up to this 0 degree celsius so here is the 0 degree celsius line so here is the point of intersection now we don't know what is the thickness of this point that is this will be our new point and what is the thickness from the initial surface so here is the initial surface and here will be our new point so i will consider here this new point will be point a or we will say point A dash. Now we have to find out this thickness of this point uh, that is uh, point A dash that is uh, thickness A dash from the initial surface to this new selected point. Now we have formula that is T1 minus Tx divided by T1 minus T2 is equal to x by b. Now we will put value. So what is T1? That is the temperature at this initial phase that is 0 degree Celsius. So 0 minus Tx. So what is the new temperature at this point x? That is 15 degree Celsius. Divided by T1 minus T2. That is 0 minus 40. Is equal to x by b. So what is the new distance x? So here will be our new initial phase. So I will show this in new initial phase. When the material is removed. Then what is the distance of this point x from the new initial phase so we have to find out this distance so this previous distance is l by 2 if l by 2 minus a then we will get this distance so we have to write l by 2 minus a now we have to take this whole distance b so this is our initial phase because we have to uh, remove particular material on the left hand side so we have to measure this remaining distance after we remove the material so how to measure this distance from the right hand side surface to this new initial phase that is this distance l minus remaining distance a dash so we have to take uh, l by 2 minus a dash uh, divided by l minus a dash so to avoid confusion we have written here this a that is the thickness a material is added and thickness a dash material should be removed now we will simplify this so if we cross multiply then 15 l minus 15 a is equal to 20 l minus 40 a and l a is equal to l by 5 so we have to remove the material which is having thickness a dash is equal to l by 5 